Good evening. Welcome to Frederick P. Rose Hall, the House of Swing. You're in the appell room, and we're happy that you're with us this evening. Now, tonight, you're going to hear an amazing vocalist. She's not only really very talented and soulful, but she's an NAACP Image Award recipient and a double Grammy Award nominee. And she can really sing. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming to the Appell Room stage, Miss Jasmine Horn. City. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. That's okay. Give it up for Mr. Keith Brown on the piano. Eric Wheeler on the bass. Anwar Marshall on the drum set. Thank you. My debut album, as most of you may know or may not, it is entitled A Social Call, and it is about social injustices around the world, not just in America, but worldwide. Um, love and liberation is love and liberation. To me, they, co they coexist together. Without one, you can't have the other. And now that we know those social injustices exist, let's do something about them with first freeing your mind. And so the first track on this album is entitled for your mind, and we hope you dig it. We're gonna play um, a song that was written by the late, great Miss Betty Carter. This is Please Do Something.
sweep for me. Then your branches green along the street that runs to sea. Listen to my plea, hit me with love and sweep for me. Go on, my lovely dream left me.
sighing all alone in the willow tree. Been in sympathy. Bang your branches down along the ground to cover me when the shadows fall. Been a weep for me. I'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. Josh Evans on the trumpet and Mr. Jalil Shaw on the alto saxophone. <laughs> They're going to join us for an original composition of mine that I told you about when we first started entitled Free Your Mind. And we hope you do that right now if you haven't already. Free your mind and let your thoughts expand. Take your time, only on your command. Free your mind, just let your thoughts expand. Just unwind, look to your promised land. Don't hold on. Heavy load. You can be free, live there, take you where you wanna go. The pursuit of happiness inside of you. Listen to your soul, be who you desire to. Free your mind, just let your thoughts expand. And man, oh, free your mind. Just let your thoughts expand. Go on and take your time, and you will find. 
Ash Evans.
and the rest will follow, <laughs> hopefully. Um, at this moment, I'd like to take this opportunity to um, thank you all for coming tonight, number one, because you could have gone to any other jazz club in New York City, but you came here, so thank you. Yes. <laughs> and also, um, I know you're probably wondering, she has a dancer, what? Well, this next lady is a really good friend of mine. She's also from Dallas, Texas. She is a very talented performer and a very kind human being. And uh, I wanted to have her here with me tonight. Please welcome Alexandria Johnson. Yes. This is also an original composition of mine entitled Time. to my womb, firmly wrapped, tight as a cocoon. And how the sun feeds the moon. I'll be there. As long as I can lay beneath your wings, freely in your bosom as we fly high with the butterflies of wisdom and dance. Dance with the lilies around the branches of the trees near the shadows of the waters. Near the shadows of the waters, you'll see my face. in my garden your seeds will lay but all I need but Alexandria Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. How many of you have children? Oh, cool. That's a lot of you. Well, welcome to the club. <laughs> Although I may be a little younger than you, so thanks for welcoming me. Um, this next piece was written in the voice, is written in the voice of my two little girls. They're five and three, and they are very ambitious, but also very much bossy. Like their mother, except I'm the boss. Um, and they have a tendency to think that they are as well. And so anything that I do, they want. I go to the restroom, they're coming with me. I pour myself an orange glass of orange juice, they want to drink some of my orange juice as well. Um, <laughs> recently, we had a new babysitter, and uh, she was a little on the short side. And uh, my five-year-old is almost four feet tall, maybe? And the woman is just about the same height. And so she says, you're the babysitter? 
you're not tall enough to be my babysitter. <laughs> I, was, I was so embarrassed, you know? It's like, ah. How do I, as a mother, as a composer, as an author, as an, a writer, as a woman, how do I put all of that sass and pizzazz into a song, right? So I came up with this. This is entitled, When I Say. When I say stop, stop on a dime, no waste time to do what I say. Let's get my way on the highway. When I say go, don't miss a beat, move your feet, hurry up and let's roll. to play um, a song that is made famous and the lyrics are written by her. This is Green Eyes. You know Erica Badu? Cool. So uh, I wanted to do something on, on my latest album that is kind of representation of the divinity of femininity, like when I say, but I feel that a lot of composers and lyricists and singers and musicians alike write songs that really resonate with me or speak to my soul. And I grew up on a lot of Erica's music growing up. My mother would play it around the house while she was cooking or on the way to church or, you know, something I would have friends over and we'd be playing Badu's music or Lauryn Hill's music or Jill Scott's music. Um, and so I wanted to write an arrangement in reverence of Badu. This is Green Eyes. <laughs>
very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to bring back Mr. Josh Evans and Jalil Shaw. So when I was studying at the new school, there was this guy that I was very interested in, and he wasn't necessarily interested in me. <laughs> and, um, you know, as a musician, you kind of write about it and you move on. This is out the window. What? Two, one, two, three, four. fellas will be back. They're gonna join us soon. Right now I'd like to do a song from my debut album entitled A Social Call. Um, this is one of the most requested songs. It was one of the most requested songs in 2017 and 18 on Sirius XM, on BGO, on many places around the world. Um, this is a song that was written by Jimmy Rose, and the lyrics were written by Norma Winston. This is entitled The Peacocks, also known as A Timeless Place. And we are going to feature our lovely dancer, Miss Alexandria Johnson, again. We hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Then little pathways part descending. of a church build in the morning the peacocks still calling out their sad and bitter warning beauties of the
Andrea Johnson, Josh Evans, Keith Brown. Thank you. We'd like to do another original composition of mine. Um, this is Searching. This is when I was in college as well. Searching and searching and searching and searching for love and things that I didn't need. <laughs> Those were the days. This is searching. Hope you dig it. I kept searching for someone who could turn my life around, but I didn't know it. I saw a fella who seemed to have wanted. That guy liked me, but he was too scared to show it. I kept praising and hoping he would like the moves I made, but he never noticed. Now I have no hope to find Trying, but time is flying. I gave surgeon for someone who could turn my life around, but I didn't notice. I saw a fella who it seemed to have wanted. A guy like me, but he was too scared to show it. I kept praying and hoping he would like the moves I made, but he never noticed. Now I have no hope to find my true love. I keep on trying, but time is flying.
just me and you. <laughs> it's all right with me. You know the boys, uh, no? <laughs> just jazz, huh? Okay. It's all right. This is, uh, well, I won't tell you. Right here. Do do do. 
tell stories about my songs. I usually just sing, you know? But I figured this is Jazz at Lincoln Center and, you know, it's a, it's a privilege to be here, so why not tell you the stories? Um, this next song was a song that I also, you know, college was a rough time for me. <laughs> I'm gonna just be honest, you know? I'm from Dallas where things are big and large and very different, very different. Um, you know, it's just, it's a different kind of place. And New York City was, is the melting pot and was just so different for me being this 17 year old Southern girl from, from Dallas, Texas, coming to the big city. Um, the, the men were very rude and different, you know, there's not much chivalry here. Um, you know, folks don't have enough gumption to say good morning. Otherwise, you'd be saying good morning for the rest of your life because people are tourists here. You don't really see the same person all the time. It, it was just really different for me. Um, one of the experiences that I experienced in college was um, a lot of what we now call the Me Too movement. Um, not specifically from professors or anything like that. And everyone who taught me was very professional. But there were people for instance, I had a lurker. I had a guy who was watching me in my dorm. And I told the RAs about it, I spoke out about it, and I said, this guy's really been bothering me. And they said, well, how come no one else on your floor is complaining about this guy? He was a peeping Tom. I hope your name's not Tom, by the way. <laughs> but he was definitely a peeping Tom and annoying. And I said to my roommate, Monica, why don't you just close the blinds? You know my schedule. Every morning I get up and I take a shower. When I come back, I would like to be in my towel in my own room because I have privacy as you're going to class. And she left the blinds up always. So instead of me, you know, cussing him out or <laughs> going to his house, I decided to buy a robe. And it worked out for me until one day I saw him literally on the corner um, there's a Rite Aid on the corner of 20th Street. That's the dorm that I used to live in. And uh, I went there, and uh, he was there, but I didn't realize it was him. So I walked up to the register, gathered my things, getting ready to pay, and on my way there, he bumps me. And then as I'm getting ready to leave, he says, arms and legs, huh? And I didn't really get it. I'm like, yeah, man, have a good day. You know, like, bye. Didn't really get it, and uh, when I got back, I realized he was mad because he could only see my arms and my legs now because I found, found a rope for myself. You know, just weird, New York, like. <laughs> dude, get a life. 
There's so much stuff you can watch now. You don't have to watch me. It's 2020, you know? Anyway, um, it was weird. And one of my professors said, write something about it. You know, do something about it, Jasmine. Don't just sit around. You know, you spoke to people about it. You did what was rightfully so, and nothing happened. What are you going to do about it? And so I wrote a song, and it is entitled Legs and Arms. <laughs> I hope you dig it. If not, that's all right. You'll deal with it, too. Her hair so dark and brown, her lips so full and round, the rope she wore hung almost to the ground. And if she'll close the blinds, one thing I'll never find is what she looks like on the outside. Legs and arms are all I look at every day, feet and hands. Oh, how I wish I were the man of a dream. Interested in love. If only I could just lie next to her, I'd be the gayest man alive holding her. But once the moonlight hits the she goes away to her favorite place where I can see what's underneath if she
tears fall from my eyes. Thank you very much. Keith Brown, Eric Wheeler, Anwar Marshall, Jaleel Shaw, Josh Evans. For our last number, we're going to dedicate it. Also, as similar as our first to Miss Betty Carter, if that's okay with you. Cool. <laughs> this is a uh, tight. One, two, one, two, three, four. Beta, and let it do, 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 Take my advice, girl. If you find a man, hold on tight. Don't let him, 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 don't let him go. Hold on to him tight. Don't let him go. 
Thank you so much. You can take us home with you if you like. We do have CDs available right outside. Thank you so much. Peace.
Good evening. Welcome to the Appell Room at Jazz and Lincoln Center, Frederick P. Rose Hall. We are happy that you're with us tonight and you're in for a treat. You're going to be listening to a very talented vocalist who not only has style and soul, but she is an NAACP Image Award recipient. She's a double Grammy Award nominee and she can really sing. <laughs> now please join me in welcoming to the Appell Room stage, Miss Jasmia Horn. asking the first crowd how they were doing, and I heard crickets. <laughs> and I said, it's gonna be a long night. And it was. Till now, you're here. Thank you so much for coming. Keith Brown on piano. <laughs> Eric Wheeler on the bass. <laughs> Anwar Marshall on the drum set. And later we have some other guests who'll be joining us, some really good friends of mine and probably yours. Um, we're gonna start with a song written by the late great Miss Betty Carter. This is Please Do Something. What?
for me. Maybe a branch is green along the stream that runs to sea. Listen to my plea. Hear me, willow, and weep for me. Gone, my lovely dream. That lit summer dream. Gone and left me here to weep my tears and do a stream. I'm as sad as I can be. Hear me, willow, and weep for me. Whisper to the wind, say that love has sin. Leave my heart a aching and I'm begging a moan. Murmur to the night out of sorry I None will find me crying and sighing all alone. The bender with a shake, bend in sympathy. Bend your branches down along the ground to cover me. When the shadows fall, bend over. Yeah. Ah, da 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 da
along the street, runs to see and listen to my plea. Hear me well, I'll whip and tree and whip for me. Go on, my lovely dream, look, please, I'm a dream. Go on and let me hear the whip my teeth and whip my Sad as I can be, hear me, willow tree, weep for me. Da -da -da. Go on and whisper to the wind, say the love is in. Leave my heart a aching and I leave my heart a aching and I'm making a moan. Remember to the night a heart a sorry eye. Then we'll find me crying and I'm sighing all alone. Bend on willow tree, bend in sympathy. Bend your branches down alone, the ground a cover me in when the shadows fall.
took a trip on a train and I thought about you. And gentlemen, I'd like to bring to the stage Mr. Josh Evans on trumpet and Jalil Shaw on alto saxophone, right along with Mr. Keith Brown and Mr. Anwar Marshall. This is a song, an original composition of mine that I wrote while I was in college. And uh, for me, college were some of the most trying times of my life because I was introduced to a new world. I'm from Dallas, Texas originally. So if you can imagine a 17 year old Southern girl with so, many, so much manners coming to New York <laughs> for the very first time where chivalry barely exists and people don't have enough gumption to say good morning. You know, it was very difficult for me. Um, and I also had a hard time with men. <laughs> very hard time. <laughs> Except for on stage, you know. That's a different thing. These are my brothers. Um, and so, you know, I decided to put that into songs. And a lot of the songs from Love and Liberation are just that. So this is one of my compositions entitled Out the Window. Hope you dig it. Thank you. What? break your heart and all of the things you've ever dreamed of will go out the window. You better think twice to see the girl is made of sugar and spice but all of the sugar that she's made of will go out the window. Don't you understand you're the kind of man she prays on. Don't believe the lies, open up your eyes, her deceiving myself. The lady is mischievous but you cannot see this crazy mystery. Don't you be surprised for this will make you wiser for your latest decisions so I think you ought to listen. But all of the sugar that she's made of go out the window. Over the 
the things you've ever dreamed of are gonna out the window. Ah, you better think twice. See the girl is made of sugar and spice, but all of the sugar that she's made of are gonna out. This next young lady that I'd like to bring to the stage is a very good friend of mine. She originally is from Dallas, Texas, and she's been here in New York shaking the scene with her moves and her charisma <laughs> and her personality. She's really cool. Um, please welcome my dear friend, Alexandria Johnson. <laughs> We're gonna do a song, and uh, it will feature her, as well as Mr. Josh Evans on the trumpet, and Mr. Keith Brown on piano. This is a song from my debut album, entitled The Peacocks, also known as A Timeless Place. Thank you. <laughs>
Andrea Johnson. Josh Evans. Keith Brown. Thank you. I'd like to bring back Mr. Irwin, Mr. Anwar Marshall. And Mr. Eric Wheeler on the bass. Thank you. We would like to do a song, um, I'd like to do a song about trying to find love and romance and what that's like or what it was like for me in college because that's completely over. But as I said, those were the days, right? <laughs> um, this is an original composition entitled Searching. Help you dig it. What? I kept searching for someone who could turn my life around, but I didn't know it. For a fella who would seem to want it, a guy like me, but he was too scared to show it. I kept praising and hoping he would like the moves I made, but he never noticed. Now I have no hope to find my true love. I keep on trying, but time is flying. I kept searching for someone who could turn my life around, but I didn't know it. I saw a fella who would seem to want it, a guy like me, but he was too scared to show it. I kept praising and hoping he would like the moves I made, but he never noticed. Now I have no hope to find.
keep searching for someone who could run my life around, but I'm the love of Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you like Erica Badu? Cool, me too. <laughs> yeah. I grew up with a lot of her music. Um, my mother would play her music around the house or you know, in the car on the way to church or school or something. And there were a lot of songs that she wrote lyrics to and a lot of songs that just really resonated with me as a child and even more so as a woman now that I have grown older. And this is one of those compositions. It's just something that kind of stuck with me. I understood the story. And even though my eyes aren't green, I understand. And you know, hopefully you dig the arrangement. This is Green Eyes. <laughs>
Thank you. Do you have children? How many of you have children? Oh, cool. Grandchildren. I'm not there yet. I do have two daughters, Bossy and Bossier. <laughs> They're three nagers, is what my mother calls them. They're five and three. And uh, very much Bossy like their mother. Um, I found out a lot about myself after I had children. You know, I found out that I'm sassy, that I'm bossy, that I'm grown, that I talk too much, you know. There's a lot of things you find out when you have children. Um, as a mother, I figured, you know, as a mother, as a composer, as a woman of many hats, I figured how do I put that energy into a sound, into a vibration that is different than the vibration that is already there, existing. Um, so, I got creative and wrote this little ditty. It's entitled, When I Say. <laughs> One, two, uh, uh. When I say stop, stop on a dime, no it's time to do what I say. It must be my way or the highway. When I say go, don't miss a beat, we can beat, hurry up and let's roll. You won't ever have another like me, so I shouldn't have to beg and plead. You know everything I do makes a smile, makes a problem, makes a while. Come on now, I'm not a child, so don't say to me. When I want, give me your love, give me your time, with your desire.
Please welcome back to our stage, Miss Alexandria Johnson. And lay next to my room, firmly wrapped, tight as a cocoon. And how the sun needs the moon. I'll be there. can lay beneath your wings freely in your bosom as we fly high with the butterflies of wisdom and dance dance with the lilies around the branches of the trees near the shadows of the water in the shadows of the waters you'll see my face and in my garden, your seeds will lay. But all I need, all I really need, but Alexandria Johnson. <laughs> so, love and liberation, what does it mean? For me, without love, you cannot really be liberated and free to be who you are. For me, this album means more than just liberating myself in the music. Hopefully, something that you have heard tonight has been very liberating for you in your life. Maybe you had a weak Friday and you came here and it feels better. That's good. That's what we want in our society. A social call was mainly about speaking out about its social injustices around the world, around the planet, not just in America. Now that we know that it exists and those issues exist, let's do something about it or them, starting with your mind. Taking back your mind from social media, from advertisement, from others who tell you what to wear, what to eat, what to, how to sleep, what to drink, what to sis, listen to. Do something you want to do. And this is for you. It's entitled, Free Your Mind. That's right. One, two, oh, one, two. Free your mind and let your thoughts expand. Take your time, only on your command. Free your mind, just let your thoughts expand. Just unwind and do your promised land. Be 
say this. Wake up in the morning, take a look in the mirror, then I say, free your mind. Can you sing it? Wake up in the morning, take a look in the mirror, just say, when I'm walking down the street, everybody that I meet wanna sing too. Yeah. When I'm teaching in the schools, teach the little babies too. But I tell them, say, yeah. Or maybe singing in the church, tell the preacher what I'm worth. I'ma tell the man. Oh, when I'm walking down the street, everybody that I meet, I'ma tell them to just free your mind. Thank you. Keith Brown on piano. Eric Wheeler on the bass. I'm Juan Marshall on the drum set. Jalil Shaw on the saxophone. Josh Evans on the trumpet. I'm Jasmine Horn. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen and all others, whatever you identify as. Thank you so much for being here tonight. We appreciate you, and we hope you come to see us again. We got two more shows tomorrow. Tell the folks, tell the friends, tell the enemy, tell somebody to free their mind and come on down on tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much. We have CDs right outside. I'm gonna take a little water break and meet you out there. Thank you.